Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to be talking about something that really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but it was something that I was personally really, really curious about, and I thought some of you guys might be interested as well. So with that said, in today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the total number of free-to-play Dragonstones that us global players received over the course of our 6th anniversary celebration, and then compare that to the amount of stones that JP players got about six months ago for their anniversary, just to see which side got more stones and by how much. And like I said, it really doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. It's not like I'm trying to start a global versus JP thing here because that's super dumb, but I was very curious and uh, I just gotta know. So with that said, let's jump right into it. And as you guys can see, we are on the Dokkan Wiki. And by the way, a big, big shout out to all the people who keep this website running because it's such an amazing resource for people like me. And uh, I just want to say, I really appreciate the hard work that goes into it. But why don't we start from the very beginning, which would be the countdown, which uh, started at the end of June slash beginning of July. And we had a returning campaign, which gave out 10 stones. There was also a daily login bonus for another 10 stones. And then there was also this returning player login bonus, which was only available to people who hadn't logged in for a long time, right? So not everybody got this, but if you were a returning player at the time, then you got an additional 20-ish stones. And finally, there's the 37th Global World Tournament, which gave out 50 stones as long as you actually did all the missions. So. For the countdown alone, most people should have received 70 Dragon Stones, and of course, for the returning players, it was more like 90 to 100. Now, moving on to part 1, starting with the daily login, we got 66 stones for the first day in our boxes, and then 36 stones for the remaining days, so that was uh, 102 stones right there. And then we had daily missions for 12 stones, special missions for 6 stones, a new boss rush stage for 35 stones, new stages of the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and UI Goku Dokkan events, 4 stones right there. And then we had the first couple of stages for the Miracle of Universe 7 story event, and that was 11 stones. The first couple of stages for Master Roshi's new challenge event, 9 stones right there. And then 1 stone for the Majin Buu's Shape Up Training, and 24 stones for the first 4 Gods of Destruction. And then, of course, a new Special Edition Anniversary Ultimate Clash gave out 40 stones. Uh, all the social media campaigns combined gave out 45 stones. The co-op campaign gave out 10 stones. Top Grossing, believe it or not, gave out 147 stones, which was... Unexpected. Like, of course, I expected top grossing, but this was definitely more than I think most people thought we would get. But well, that's awesome. And then uh, we got 14 stones for the 6th anniversary legendary challenge campaign, and then one more stone for the special 6th anniversary Pan's secret adventure stage. So when you add everything up for part one, global players got 441 to play dragon stones now obviously everything that i talk about in this video is assuming that you actually did all the missions and all the stages all right now moving on to part two daily login gave us 33 stones special missions or rather daily missions gave us 11 stones special missions gave us five stones and then there were the special golden weekend missions which gave out 12 stones the next four gods of destruction was 24 stones a new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History, 33 stones. The Ultra Instinct Goku Extreme Z Battle gave out 34 stones. And then the remaining stages of the Miracle of Universe 7 Story Event gave out 15 stones. Remaining stages of the Master Roshi's new challenge event was 9 stones. And then another co-op campaign for 10 stones, Pets on Battle for 11 stones. Social media campaigns, 20 stones. And then Top Grossing only gave 7 stones. I was hoping for a few more because last year we did get 30 i think for part two but um not a lot of people summoned so it is what it is so seven stones are top grossing add everything up part two gave out 
228 stones. Now, lastly, we have part 3, which is technically still ongoing, but basically over. Uh, we might be missing... I'll talk about it later. Okay, so let's start with the daily login, 33 stones, special missions, or sorry, daily missions, 11 stones, special missions, 5 stones, and then the remaining Gods of Destruction, 24 stones, the Goku and Frieza, Extreme Z Battle, 33 stones, the Extreme Z Area, or the Free-to-Play U7 units, 16 stones, New Explosive Chain Battle, 20 stones, Co-op Campaign, 10 stones, and Social Media Campaigns, 15 stones. Now the thing that's missing here is uh, most likely another 30 stone, uh, not top grossing, but kind of like a thank you gift that we get at the end of every uh, anniversary. So for part 3, we currently have 167 stones, but once we add the thank you, you know, for the anniversary gift or whatever, that should be 197. Alright, so the total we have here for the entire anniversary up until now is 906 stones. Once again, adding the 30 thank you gift should be 936 stones. So pretty close to a thousand guys, which I was honestly kind of surprised by because um, I remember JP got, you know what, we'll talk about that later. But the point is, that's a good amount of stones, man. 906 slash 936 soon. So uh, that was Global's stone count for the anniversary. And if you compare it to last year for the fifth anniversary, I'm pretty sure we actually got more than last year. I don't remember for sure though, hold on. <laughs> Let me go over to all campaigns global, and then year five, and uh, if we go down to the bottom here, we have the fifth anniversary celebration, and I remember it was 800 something. Let's see, yeah, 879. Okay, so last year, 879. The fourth anniversary was actually over a thousand, I believe, but this year was better than last year as far as free to play stones go. And now let's pop over to the JP side. This was the stone count for JP's sixth anniversary. For the countdown, they only got 18 stones because they didn't have a world tournament. And then for part one, they got 441. For part two, they got 215. And for part three, they got 181. Add all of them up, that's 800 and 55 stones. So believe it or not guys, I mean, I know some people are still gonna dispute it, but the numbers don't lie. Uh, Global got more free to play stones than JP did. All right, that's a bit of a shock. You know, the fact that we are most likely by the end of the anniversary gonna get almost 100 more stones than JP did for their anniversary. Um, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. And once again, let me just reiterate, I'm not trying to say one version is better than the other. It was just a comparison. I was just curious. It doesn't matter, so don't take it too seriously. But uh, yeah, Global is going to end up with more free to play Dragon Stones than JP had six months ago. Um, I wouldn't mind if this trend continues, but it's probably not going to be the case for everything, obviously. So. There you go guys, that is today's video. Like I said in the very beginning, doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but pretty cool nonetheless. And uh, let me know in the comments if you guys were expecting this or are you as surprised as I was that Global actually came on top in this department. Um, either way, man, play whichever version you want. I'm obviously a Global guy, but that's just a personal preference and uh, that's all I gotta say, man. That is today's video. There's your stone count. Another big shout out to the Dokkan Wiki admins. You guys are awesome. And uh, that's all from me. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.